in the blue and my hair is in baking soda and fairy liquid. PSA, do not do this. It was honestly one of the worst ideas I've ever had, but here we go, putting it in. Look at me, I think I'm so intelligent. Um, put it in there, very accurate measurements. Got some baking soda, mixing it up. It smelled really strange, but you know, here we go. Protection, gotta use protection, kids. And here's me undoing that fateful moment where I put it on my hair. Should not have done this. Whatever, there's me putting it in. Um, nice face. Scrubbing it. Oh, the regrets, man. Whatever, scrubbing it. Um, looking at it, putting more in. Should not have done this, but whatever. There's me looking hopeful, clearly. Peace and power, it's done. Stop scrubbing it, whatever. And here it is, finished product. My hair, 10 times thinner and still blue. This baking soda and dishwash, how many times do we see that failing? It's not powerful enough to get these colors out. Yes, it can get some pigments out of your hair. It can fade a little bit. Less harsh thing to do to get rid of these pigments is a bleach wash or a bleach bath. Bleaching powder, peroxide, warm water and shampoo. And then you apply that sometimes. There are some people that are not adding warm water. I do that uh, in the salon. But you will have to apply it and then rub it in, look at it, rub it in, look at it. For one person, it's like one minute, it's completely gone. For another person, it's like 10 minutes and it's gone. Remember, there are some pigments that are really difficult to get out and maybe you will have to bleach it. But you can try it first with a bleach wash or a bleach bath. Hey, hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. Today we are going to see some TikTok hair fails because there are crazy things on TikTok and I want to stop the video every time I see something to give you extra tips so you don't make the same mistakes as they are. So let's see what they are doing on TikTok. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and of course you can follow me on TikTok. Okay guys, I am terrified right now because this toner is supposed to take out the yellow orange that has been in my hair. I'm gonna turn blue. I'm blue, yabba dee yabba die, yabba dee yabba die. Please don't be blue, please don't be blue, please don't be blue. If you dry your hair, it will be less blue or less purple than when it's wet. So don't panic, dry your hair. But you already see two different kinds of color. Uh, that's because one part is more blonde or more bleached than other parts. It was more yellow, more orange maybe. Uh, we didn't see the result before she applied the toner. But also when your hair is more damaged on one part and less damaged on another part the one part that is more damaged is absorbing more toner so it will add more blue or violet pigments on this part Capito come devono essere, adesso sono umidi. Per abbrandare bene. Suori lì nel rapporto. In teoria dovrei tipo fare così. Io dopo sono curiosa di capire come dormirò con sti robi in testa stanotte. Ma sì, ma sta roba adesso non me la metto. E ora c'è lo step più difficile. A domani per il risultato. Perché mi metto a fare questa cosa? Perché? I haven't understand a thing about that. I didn't understand anything. Anything. But a hair fail? 
is a hair fail, even if it's in Spanish, Italian, Dutch, it was not nice. So I just went to Grey Clips to get a haircut. <clears throat> and look what... <laughs> Can you see it? Well, this one's not that bad. Well, this is. I, she cut this hair, so that's gonna be great. And I'm driving, so I'm probably gonna die, so I gotta go! Thanks a lot, freaking great clips! Oh my god, that was a bad haircut. There are some people that are asking to me, why, why are you making YouTube videos and learning people how to do their hair at home? If you're killing the hairdresser business, by teaching people at home how to do their hair. In the beginning, I was also very nervous to do that. But there are some people that are for different reasons not wanting to go to hairdressers anymore. The big one, the first one is lack of money sometimes. Because in some parts of the world, going to the hairdresser costs a lot of money. The second mainly reason is this reason as a hairdresser if you give your client this kind of haircut don't be surprised that people are afraid to go to the hairdresser and thinking i can do that maybe better at home why can you leave your client outside your salon with a haircut like that you have to be proud of your work I know taking a course, it takes a lot of time and it takes an effort to do that. But be proud. Be proud of it. You have hairdressing business is so beautiful. We have a beautiful profession, but don't kill it. Take your passion, make your client happy and make sure that they are not afraid of hairdressers. It's funny, yes, it's funny on some level, but for me, as a person with a high passion for hairdressing, it's really making me sad and even a little bit mad. Okay, so I just saw a TikTok that shows you how to use a straightener to get out your elastics. I wanna tell you, do not do this. I just did it, and not only did it get glued on to my straightener, but it got glued on to my hair. And I'm just gonna show you so you do not do it. So you do this, and then voila, it's off. Okay, well now it's on here, it's getting melted on there, and it's melted into my hair. I have little plastic pieces now all up in here that I have to get out. This shows a better view. Like now I have to get all this stuff out. Y'all, do not do it, for real, do not do it. But why should you do that? Why? Take good elastics, not these plastic things. It's really bad to put that in your hair, it's killing your hair. If you do that frequently on the same place, you are destroying your hair, so don't do that. So, turns out I did this mask thing completely wrong. I mixed two different masks together. There's the avocado one and the coconut oil one. The avocado one is supposed to have like an egg, olive oil, and honey in it. And the coconut oil one is supposed to have cinnamon. But no, I decided to put avocado and coconut oil together. Yeah, I did this completely wrong. You're also supposed to put a shower cap on and blow dry it and then wait another like 20 minutes. I didn't do that. And my hair's all crusty. So, uh, yeah. Well, I guess we'll see how it turns out. Ah! I just showered for so long and I still don't think I got it all out. My hair still feels very, like, stiff. Okay, so I let my hair air dry and it's the next morning. It feels pretty soft, but in all honesty, I don't think it did anything. 10 out of 10 do not recommend unless you want to waste products. I don't get it. Why all these people thinking that these oils are helping? Yes, it will make your hair soft on some point, but this coconut oil and all these nut oils, it makes your hair soft and it's maybe giving your hair more shine because it's closing the cuticle. And if your cuticle is closed, then you have a reflection of the light and then you have more shine. But restoring or treating your hair from the inside, restoring bridges, your hair, yes, there are bridges inside your hair, bonds, not 
bones, but bonds. These oils are not restoring your hair. It's make maybe your hair soft, gives shine. That's okay. But restoring only a good mask, a treatment, a good mask, is going to restore your hair. Have you enjoyed this video? Have you laughed with this video? Have you learned from this video? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. See you next time. And all I'm going to say today is... Ciao kus.